All right. Uh, sorry, the fan's blowing on my new charge controller. Uh, you can see the fluctuation of the voltage. And you can see also, I can get a good shot of that, the amperage and voltage that's coming in. So, uh, the reason why it's working so hard, um, I set up my new, or actually, this is the old inverter, 24 volt inverter, which goes along up here. Still have some wires to tighten up. Which goes to here, this 20 amp breaker sub panel, if you remember, if you uh, watching my other stuff in the old house, um, this is that same sub panel that I just have this, for this outlet, which is going to this charger, which is going to uh, the electric car. I bought a Nissan Leaf um, two days ago, and it's charging it right now. Um, so there are two ports on this. This is the uh, the fast port that supports uh, like up to 480 which they have the, uh, it's a level three charging station at like Nissan dealerships, etc. Uh, and there's also one at various gas stations, uh, at least one gas station that I've seen here in uh, central Oklahoma. Um, and this is charging around one kilowatt. Um, and let's see what it's doing. It's, it's still pretty cloudy out. And I have uh, eight panels going at uh, 280 watts a piece. Let's see if I can. It's telling me, obviously, I can't start because it's plugged in. And it's at 57% right now. This is going to be a relatively long charging session. Um, because we're still only using 110 volts to charge this. What I am going to do is I'm going to move that sub panel over here to right here, uh, there we, I did have shelving going on here. I'm gonna move the sub panel right here, um, and then I'm going to install a breaker box, and I'm ordering a level two um, EV electric vehicle charger that will that runs off of a 50 amp breaker. Um, so I'll be uh, running 240, 240 volts around 32 amps um, to the car and that should be able to charge it in around four hours fully. But I'm also uh, just going to be utilizing the car dealership um, uh, quick charges on my commute to work and that takes about 26 minutes since it, it's uh, like 400, like I said, 480 volts at like almost um, 100 amps so it is a it is a monster um, but anyway I haven't given an update for a while um, I can talk more about the quote unquote Outback charge controller which I'm really loving which is a Chinese version of that um, and the rest of this is pretty tightened up uh, as far as what's going, I also char um, moved the battery disconnect down here, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I'm getting closer to mounting all 18 panels. Um, I have eight in the backyard just sitting there, which is a whole other issue. Which I sold off my other panels and got a pallet of panels, which the other half is right here. Um, 
and I'm still waiting uh, to get that stand up and running. Um, anyway, uh, trying to get a good angle on this. There we go. Uh, one, yeah, so this, just kind of pour it. Uh, this is a camera hooked up to my security system so at any given point I can uh, bring up the feed and look at my the voltage etc etc um, via my phone in an app um, anyway uh, that's where I'm at now I'm super excited about my uh, the Nissan Leaf there was a uh, tax incentive two tax incentives uh, the Oklahoma OG and E had a $10,000 tax incentive uh, straight off of the MS, uh, MSRP and then there's another 7500 tax rebate federal so basically got this for uh, 20000 off um, asking price so uh, more on that to come and more on solar next time thanks for watching